people can ask what inspired me to give money to Woody Road Trust. I am a recipient of one of the scholarships. So I feel like I owe so much to the trust. And I know the impact that it has on the recipient. I found out about the, the work of Budirero through a friend who's involved. There were two things that I particularly liked about it. Uh, one was that it was not a huge organization. It was very modestly sized and that it hadn't bitten off more than it could chew. It was simply trying to find deserving individuals who needed help to get through to the end of their secondary education. Having been out there on holiday and visiting the schools, I decided that it would be a good thing to contribute and support the children in the country that I'd come from. The satisfaction that I get from giving money to this trust is unimaginable because I know the money will be used to change disadvantaged young people's lives. The people who are in the organization, they are very, very passionate about it. In Zimbabwe, a country I know very well, primary education is actually quite good. It's better than in most of Southern Africa, but a really big problem arises in the middle of secondary education when people who are bright, who are clever, who really have the ability to, 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 to go ahead, run out of money or there are demands from their family that they have to come and work. That's the point at which you can find a relatively small number of spectacularly capable people and give them exactly the help they need at the right time. For me, it will pain me that there's someone out there, talented, who could not fulfill their potential because of lack of resources. In the politics of education in Britain, we spend an awful lot of time talking about how to persuade young people to want a good education. You don't have that problem in Zimbabwe. They do want the education. They don't need any persuading. All they need is the means to carry on with it. There are many success stories from the students who have received the scholarship. So it makes me so proud that I'm actually contributing to this success. Bodiro Trust have been providing the, this scholarship to students in Zimbabwe for the past 50 years. There is no wastage really. All the money that you donate will be used to pay for the students' fees. I, I love the directness of helping a trust like Bodiro. You're only two or three degrees removed from actually handing over the help that people need. And you can check on it, and, and, and I have. And you can meet the people and know the people who are doing this work. Feeling part of a community of givers, particularly around a trust, when you're giving to a very small organisation and you know exactly where the money's going, how it's being spent and who's spending it is really important. And as we're very much a family-based organisation, looking after youngsters in a family situation in Zimbabwe, I think just giving generally makes you feel that you are contributing to something really important and being part of that family is a nice, warm feeling. You don't have to give a large amount to make a difference. Just the cost of a cup of coffee per month could make a huge impact on someone's life. My message to anyone who would like to support the Trust is that even if you can afford a little per month, that little bit of money goes towards a student who could potentially save lives and save communities in Zimbabwe. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I really hope that you can contribute in some way to the Budirero Trust and Zimbabwe's future. Join me today in this wonderful community. Help us to shape Zimbabwe's future.